Hello all, I'm glad that you're here. We are going to be doing laundry in this video. We're just gonna talk about how I try my best to keep up with laundry, and then we're gonna go through Owen's clothes, and uh, it's just Owen and I for the next couple of days, like during the daytime, because Dave will be at work and my mom's not here. So I'm gonna try to go through his clothes with him awake and here, so tune in for that because that's gonna be a difficult challenge. But firstly, we're gonna start the laundry. So from last week, I did not empty out all of the folded laundry. I know this doesn't look too folded because I've been like ravaging it. Sometimes I don't get the laundry put away on the day that I have it planned to be put away. So I just live out of the clothes basket until it's cleaning day. So today's cleaning day, which means I've gotta empty this out first. My drawers really need going through. <laughs> they are so messy, look at this. It's my shirt drawer. Not very organized, is it? That's okay. Now that my main laundry basket is empty, I'm going to fill it up with laundry from our bedroom laundry basket and any laundry that was left in the bathroom. We've got a lot of laundry collection places throughout our house. We have this laundry basket for dirty laundry to catch. Dave has a laundry basket on his side of the bed. We throw clothes on the floor in our bathroom. Owen has his own laundry basket in his room and there's a laundry basket downstairs in our kitchen and a laundry basket in our bathroom. So we have a lot of spots to collect laundry because that's just where laundry ends up. It's easier for me if there's a spot for it to be collected. I hear someone coming up the stairs. Yeah, careful, careful, please. Side note, this is going to be the baby's laundry basket. It is right next to the crib. Now I still have laundry on the basement floor from last week's laundry that I didn't get to. And if I don't get to every single piece of laundry in the week, that's fine. I'm only here to do my best and get the most amount cleaned as possible. For me, my priority is to make sure that I have black leggings and to make sure that my kid is clothed. So I always start every laundry wash day by washing black clothes. I like to separate out my clothes into blacks, grays, colors, towels, whites, and then all of Owen's laundry gets done together. So that's just how I like to do it. If you're someone who's gonna shove everything into one load, totally cool, do that. If it works for you, do it, okay? Messy basement life. All right. Now that that's in, I use my Alexa to set a timer or else I would forget that there is laundry. So, timers help. Set a laundry timer for one hour. So it's the next day. I did six loads of laundry yesterday and then I just bring them up here to sit in my dining room to remind me that it needs to be folded. I'm not trying to do everything all at once, that's too much. If you can hear Blippi in the background, it's keeping Owen very entertained for the moment. Um, so now we're just gonna fold some laundry. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do all of the loads of laundry right now, but we'll, we'll give it a good try. I like to fold my clothes in the Marie Kondo style. I watched her Netflix special, that first one that had come out a couple years ago, and I started folding my clothes that way. And it has made such a difference to me. It is so visually pleasing and it just motivates me to keep doing laundry and to make it look really nice. And it's so much easier for me to find my clothes in my drawers or if I am just living out of my clothes basket that week, it's really easy to find in there too.
All right, so I saved the last load of laundry to fold for when Owen took his nap. It took a little over an hour to get him to lay down today, which is a lot. Recently, he's been napping really well, like laying down and snuggling really well. Today, he was not having it. I think we watched a little too much TV and didn't do enough playing. I think he sleeps a lot better on the days where we actually like interact. <laughs> and play games and stuff. So I saved the last clean load of laundry for nap time because I wanted to explain something. So I got asked on one of my last videos how I fold a fitted sheet. I tried to explain it through the comment section, but I don't feel like I did a very good job. So I'm just going to show it quick now. I did not make up this way to fold a sheet. I have no idea where I learned this, probably online at some point. So I take the, the foot corners and I put them inside out so that when my finger goes to the little part where it's stitched into the corner and then I just shove that into the opposite corner like where the head of the bed would be. Shove shove. So now we've got the corners like this and then quick before my camera dies take this corner turn it inside out shove it into this group and then straighten it the best you can so that way all of the corners are all together and they're folded into each other. And then from there, I kind of lay it down and then do my best to make up a square. Obviously when you do it, like the first one, I fold it into thirds. It's not exactly even, but then once you fold it into thirds again, it looks like a neat little package. So that's how I fold my fitted sheets. It's really super easy, especially once you do it a few times. My king size sheets, now that's a pain in the because they're so big. But yeah, super simple. Try it a few times, especially if you are someone who have been balling their fitted sheets up for a while and you would like to have a nice folded pocket or keep balling your sheets up. Do you, all right? So I'm gonna fold this last load of laundry, which is Owen's clothes. And then once everything is folded, I put all of the laundry baskets onto the stairs one at a time. So that way the next time I go up, if I pass a laundry basket, just bring it upstairs with me. And did I finish all of the clothes yesterday? No, I didn't. There's still a lot of clothes left on my basement floor. Am I going to put all the clothes away today? No, I'm not. Wednesday is wash day. Thursday is fold day. Friday is put away day. Usually I just live out of my laundry baskets until we get back to Wednesday and it's clean day. So I have to then unload the baskets because I've got a time limit. There we go, there's some laundry. Hopefully Dave will be home soon and I can pawn Owen off on him so we can go through Owen's clothes and take out 24 month sized clothing. Fingers crossed for that. Fingers crossed. And now it's Sunday and I'm just not going to get to Owen's clothes in this video. If you were looking forward to that, I apologize. It will happen eventually, but sometimes you, you just don't get to the things that you want to get to because other things either get too hard or something comes up that is more important. So that's kind of what happened this time around. I'll get to it eventually, whether that be on or off camera is what it is. Either way, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. If you made it to the end, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free. There's another video for you right there if you need more. And don't forget to check out my podcast, Case of the Mom Days, found wherever you get your podcasts.